Thank you, Ken Corla. Uh, today, the Socialist Party deputies seek leave to introduce the 34th Amendment of the Constitution Bill. This would have the effect of allowing a referendum to take place to repeal the Eighth Amendment, Article 43.3 of the Constitution, which is the constitutional ban on abortion, and would then allow government to legislate for abortion in Ireland. Now, there are hugely pressing issues facing ordinary people in this country. There's the ongoing austerity onslaught, the housing crisis, the water charges, and so on. But the continued existence of the Eighth Amendment of, to the Constitution is a pressing issue for women in this country. Uh, indeed, it's a life and death issue for many women, as we saw over the summer with the case of Ms. Y. For women who have restrictions on their travel, on their ability to travel abroad for an abortion. Migrant women, who for example, migrants make up 24% of my own constituency. Working class women who don't have the money and the means to travel due to the onslaught of austerity. They are the people who pay most for the ongoing hypocrisy of the majority of parties in this chamber, who saw fit for 31 years to ignore their reality. They cannot wait any longer to have this uh, referendum. On the last day of the Dáil in July, the Tánaiste, when asked, said that the government would not revisit this issue. She said the people had spoken. What an insult. This generation of women never got an opportunity to speak, and they are the people of childbearing age who are most affected by it. Their lives are now dictated by something on which they had no say. In the Dáil recently, Minister Varadkar said the Church should not be brought into this, it's about what's right. But it was the Catholic Church and a range of Catholic groups who lobbied and pressed for this amendment. No other religion supported it, Protestant or otherwise. It's therefore a sectarian amendment that has no place in a, a constitution. But the past is a different country. Now the Catholic Church does not enjoy the support that it did at one time. But the political establishment still seem to be determined to give it uh, inordinate power and influence over health, education and other spheres of the lives of people, and in particular women. The mantra is, we won't revisit this, there isn't an appetite. There may be no appetite by Fine Gael for political expediency, but there's certainly an appetite among ordinary people to have a referendum to repeal the Eighth Amendment. Uh, the Socialist Party is well aware of this from our, our work on street stalls, in conversations with people, uh, the ROSA uh, group the same. The poll at the weekend confirmed this even more. Only 19% of people opposed the idea of a referendum in the lifetime of this government. The, the concept of a referendum within the next year uh, was supported by 59%, with 72% supporting abortion where a mother's life is at risk, 69% supporting it in the case of rape, and 68% in the case of a threat to the long-term health of a woman. So clearly people on the ground have gone way beyond the political establishment. Now the government may not have an appetite, but maybe they should take a lesson from Spain within the last uh, few weeks. The government there has had to withdraw in a humiliating fashion its uh, attempts and its uh, proposals to curb abortion in that country, when tens of thousands of people took to the streets in 20 cities around Spain. This Saturday, there will also be a march for choice, yet another one, where uh, men and women have had to take to the streets to get the government and the establishment to listen. I hope that that march will be very large. But the question I would ask in, in putting this, is the Labour Party going to continue a legacy and a culture of Catholic Church influenced, uh, of, a, of a Catholic Church influenced state, which has allowed issues like the Magdalene laundries, the mother and baby homes, and symphysiotomy? Or is it going to uh, stop controlling women's bodies and lives and allow women their health care and their rights? We're publishing, uh, we've designed this bill, it's a very simple bill, we've published it. We call in particular on the Labour Party who say they report they support repeal of the Eighth Amendment to accept it, to introduce it and to pass it into the second stage and to actually allow government time to have this issue debated. A referendum could be held in the spring 
along with other referendums such as the marriage equality referendum. Thank you. There is no need to bring people out in several occasions. Let the people have their say on this issue. It makes sense, it's practical, and women cannot wait.